just imagine we are in debt to this kind of evil people hello fam welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new welcome i am ungil zalalem today we're talking about us deciding to remove Ethiopia from AGOA starting January 2022. So for those of you who don't know what AGOA is, AGOA means African Growth and Opportunity Act. It is a trade program meant to establish stronger commercial ties between the United States and Sub-Saharan Africa. So Ethiopia was part of um, this act and America just decided, Biden's America just decided that they no longer want to support Ethiopia in that aspect and they want to discontinue giving Ethiopia that privilege. And you might be wondering, so, so what? The reason why this is significant is because of AGOA, there are over 1 million Ethiopians that benefit from it, either directly or indirectly. People are employed. It's a, you see, like there is an industrial park that has that is found in Awasa. It's a textile business mostly, and single moms as well as you know the youth, people that need jobs, go out there to work and get paid. Because of this act, many people have jobs. Unfortunately, it was the U.S. Congress that came up with it, so they can decide to discontinue, which is what they're doing right now because Ethiopia is refusing to bow down to what they want to do. So now, what, where does that leave our people? Over 1 million people will be jobless in 2022 if they remove Ethiopia from that list. This is where we are right now. It's really sad, it's really unfortunate. Um, some of them gave an interview and they are saying they're afraid that they'll lose their jobs. This is gonna affect not the government, this is gonna affect the civilians. I have family, like I have baby. So this job is for me, it's like everything. Three customers left Levi's and uh, Walmart already given the exit plan. We are thinking we are lost this job. Uh, in future, we don't have a work like that. So for me, it's like I can't say everything because, for example, I have family, like I have baby, then uh, like I am, I'm taking care of him by myself. So this job is for me, it's like everything. And the impact is already happening. As administrators at one factory told us, due to the uncertainty of it all, brands are already pulling out. It is really sad that we have to learn this the hard way by these people losing their livelihoods, their jobs, their ability to provide for their family members. But what else can we do at this point in time? Is It's either bow down to their demands or stick to your guns and build your country. So I, I hope there's something we can do for these family members as a collective, as a society, as a government, and even our allies, Ethiopian allies and the diaspora community can help these people get back up so that we don't face the same thing again. And I hope other African nations are taking notes as well. You see what happened with Ethiopia. Tomorrow it is going to be you. So stop depending on them. Stop accepting their aid. Stop, you know, accepting their charity. We have to start, you know, providing for our own. We have to start come up with ideas that will benefit our own people, not rely on them. Because what? guess what? When we rely on them, things like this happen. And this is not something that, you know, is going to be a, a, a good thing in the long run. What happens to our kids, our grandkids? We're, just imagine we are in debt to this kind of evil people. How are we going to trust our kids' future in their hands when we're borrowing constantly, even as governments, they're borrowing from them, right? And tomorrow when you're not able to pay, what is going to happen to our kids if they can easily switch on us? Like they created this AGOA to help Africans with growth. And now that Ethiopia is saying, okay, I want to grow. I want to eradicate certain things that are not ser serving us corruption unemployment let's tackle the things that we need to tackle what they're saying is no 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 what we want for you is what's going to happen for you if it's if it's not going to be what we want for you then we are going to take away this thing we gave you to help you because we care you know as america we really do care so now we're going to take it away 
So, I mean, this is a clear indication of how they move and what they want. So, all we can do is take notes and in the future make better and different decisions. Like this is the best example and teaching moment. Unfortunately, it comes at a cost of these people losing their jobs and their ability to provide for their family members. It's really, truly sad and unfortunate. Um, but we are strong. We will get through this together. Anyways, guys, let us know down below what your thoughts are about US removing Ethiopia from Agoa. I'm Ungil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Stay blessed. Bye.